Hello, I'm Brent Holzhauer, an electrical engineering student at the University of South Florida. Today I want to talk to you about the magnetic clock I did for the Make Hands-On Engineering Design course. The clock itself is designed to drag two magnetic balls on the surface of a piece of wood. One will indicate the minute and one will indicate the hour. They're moved along by two arms controlled by servos which house powerful magnets which will drag the balls on the other side of the piece of wood. Inside this casing, I'll house the Arduino, the servos, and the RTC circuit, which will control the system. Here's a look at the motion. The longer hand is the minute hand, and the shorter one is the hour. I ordered special 270 degree servos off the internet um, to get that extra rotation out of the hour hand. You can see I left some holes for the buttons, and you can also see the holes I left for the mounting. Here's a look at the block diagram. The entire system is run off an Arduino Uno. The RTC keeps time for me and will keep an accurate time even if the clock is unplugged. It houses a small battery. The minute and hour buttons will update the RTC so it ensures the clock is always accurate. The LCD screen is just to give you a little bit feedback on what the current time is when you're setting it. And the Arduino, you can see, controls the two servo motors, one for the hour and one for the minute. Okay, here is the final design. I ended up putting it on a nice piece of oak. And you can see on the left-hand side, I have the hour indicator, and on the right-hand side, I have the minutes. Uh, just like a normal clock, the hours are indicated by 3, 6, 9, and 12. And the minutes are 15, 30, and 45, indicated by larger tick marks. I did it that way to um, make it a little more intuitive to read because it'd be like a, a clock where we're a little more used to reading. The markings themselves I made by engraving using a, a Dremel tool by hand and then I went back and filled in the, the engraving with epoxy and sanded it flat after it was dry. Here are the magnetic balls that drag along the surface. I'll just put them on there. And if I plug the clock in, it will reset to the current time. Uh, so as you can see, it is currently 10.51. I can reach on the bottom and press the hour and minute hands. I'll show you those. Here's the LCD to screen, and here are the minute and hour hands. So I'll just press those for you so you can see it in action. Uh, there goes the hour. If I hold down the minute, it will tick along, and as it gets to 59 and rolls over to one minute, it will roll back to the start and start all over. Uh, the hour currently reads 11, I'll press it once, goes to 12, and I'll press it one more time, and it goes around to 1 o'clock. So here's the back of the clock with my 3D prints and the arms, you can see the cable coming out the bottom, and the four screws I used to mount it on the wood. So that's my magnetic clock design. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's a little time-lapse photography I did of it in action. Thanks for watching.